What can you do to become a better Python developer? In this video, I want to give you some actionable ideas that you can implement in your day-to-day -day life as a software developer, as a wannabe software developer, to become better at your development skill set. So number one, you want to code as much as possible. Coding is a skill where you get better by doing. So you want to spend as much time as possible on actually coding and honing your skills and getting better at coding. So whatever you can do, if you can make more time in your day, make this a daily habit, ideally, then that's going to be good for you. You want to spend as much time as possible coding. Another idea there is what if you could teach other people how to program, share your knowledge, share what you learned, whether that's online in the form of blog posts or videos, or if you can go to a meetup and give a presentation there, uh, give a presentation to your team, or give a presentation at a Python conference. That's going to really help you understand deeply the topic that you will talk about. This is really something that puts you on the spot, you know, or just puts you, uh, puts you out there in front of an audience, in front of people, and you better know what you're talking about. And uh, for me, that, that was really helpful in kind of forcing myself to, um, to really understand certain topics that I maybe didn't have enough time to, uh, to, to spend with beforehand. And now because I wanted to go out and show other people how this is done as part of a workshop or something else, I really had to drill down and really understand it so I could teach it to others. So this is sort of a great hack that you can apply to kind of push, your, push you forward and kind of push yourself out of your comfort zone. Highly recommend it. Teach other people how to program. Another thing you can do is to work with other people. It is, um, it is very, very enjoyable to learn from other people if you can work in a group setting, in a team setting, and you can just learn from you know, the, the programming te techniques they use, the, the feedback they can give you on your code, and uh, just on the, the general interactions and watching someone else code and kind of seeing how they, how they use their, their workflow and, and what they're doing. So this can happen either in person, you can do online pair programming with someone else, and it could also happen asynchronously if you're a part of a distributed team and uh, maybe you're working on an open source project with some other people and you're getting feedback on your code there. So I would encourage you to go and seek out uh, projects where you work with other people and you get some real world feedback on your programming code because that's super important and that's going to help you going to help you move forward. And really I think it's also a great hack just to force yourself or to encourage yourself to code on a regular basis, right? If you're embedded into some kind of team, you know, I'm, you know, obviously at your job, you're the people will expect you to code. But if you're trying to teach yourself Python on the side, if you're embedded in some kind of team uh, that creates this accountability for you, and, and where people expect you to deliver some value and to add to the team, then this can be a great way to stay motivated and uh, to become better at programming Python. Another thing you can do, uh, and I would highly encourage you to do that as well, is to just consume as much content as you can. You know, I'll be reading about Python, follow what's going on. You can either do that with free articles or uh, paid books or courses like the ones that I create. And you can... You can find great content out there and great value out there and you can learn this stuff from the comfort of your home and it's going to be really going to help you increase your skills and add to your skill set and um, it is it is a crazy time that we live in right now where you can just do that by sitting in front of your computer you know or you could always just get a digital copy of a book and sit down and learn about a topic that you're really interested in and uh, this could be a great way to improve your python programming skills as well all right so those were some strategies you can use to improve your python programming skills if this was helpful and you'd like to get your own question answered in one of these videos then just leave a comment below and i'll try and do a video answer for you in one of my future videos